and welcome to chapter 6. Uh, the sixth chapter in our seemingly never-ending series of <laughs> tutorials on Sculpty Paint. It's a big program. It doesn't look like one, but it sure is. Uh, and uh, it takes a while to give information on what everything does and my experiences with it. Uh, we just talked about the stairs tool. Sorry about that abrupt ending. I was just playing anyway, so it's not like we really missed out on anything. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the arch tool. Um, as I say, these are the tool tabs down here. These allow you to go from one tab to the other, and as you saw in the previous chapter, we were able to go back uh, or hop around, and it allows us to do some really interesting things by using multiple pieces of technology at once. Uh, here's the arch tool here, and uh, I'm going to go pop over and grab us a sphere because it doesn't look like there's one here. Uh, now this tool, let me go and pop that up here and grab the sphere. Uh, on the arch tool, the arch tool is a pretty powerful tool in and of itself. Um, this allows us to select rings, and it allows us to do some interesting things. I'm trying to remember exactly what this tool does, to be honest. Uh, this t seems to be, uh, as I recall, the Scale, Rotate, Translate, and Mirror tool. Very handy in terms of selecting, let's say, one, two, three, four, five. You can see that, again, Cell has used his own particular brand of graphical user interface, uh, and this means selected. Um, when we use these tools, there are three step sizes, small, medium, and large, and you can rotate slash scale around either 0, 0, 0, which is the center, or around the ring, or around selected. To be honest, I don't really know what the difference means per se, except that around selected, well, let's just find out. If we were to rotate, you're not going to see much unless I put texture on here. If we were to rotate this here, you'll notice that that just selects the tool mode, rotate, translate, or scale. And you'll notice that this row turns off. This is the purple row that allows us to scale, but doesn't allow us to translate or rotate. Uh, purple means all. Um, that much er, means not all, it means X and Z at the same time. So if we were to plus that, you can see that this selected area here that we selected just moved in both blue and red. And uh, minus so on. Um, we're, scale we're scaling right now. Uh, we can scale in blue, uh, which is X, or red, which is, no, red is X and blue is Z. Uh, green is our current up and down, and uh, if we were to scale plus or minus in Z, it really does some weird stuff that you may not be prepared to see. Uh, shield your eyes, because this is some weird stuff. Um, rather than yeah, it seems to be making stair steps, which is kind of cool. Uh, it lets you make your own personal stairs inside the object. And of course, at 32 by 32, you can't even see what it's doing. So, uh, I don't think that really accomplishes anything at all. Um, let's go ahead and clear that out. Um, that just clears the selection, by the way. This clear button down here just clears the selection. and. Uh, Let's talk about, oh, to be honest, there's a couple of arch tool and arch pipe. This is an arch pipe. This is an arch cube, rather. And what this allows us to do is it allows us to create a selection here where we can then rotate around, like, let's say, the x-axis. And you see that we can turn sections around either 0, 0, 0, around a ring, or around selected. I don't know what the ring stands for, 
but let's rotate it around 0, 0, 0 for a second, and we'll do it again on the x-axis, and you can see that it's rotating around the x-axis here. That's handy if you want to make a curved shape. Rather than using the bend tool, which, to be honest, isn't very, um, it doesn't have a lot of finesse. Um, it's a little vague in places. The nice thing is that you can go down this selection here, let's skip three, and we'll tap once on red. Oh, now wait, we'd be rotating around red, wouldn't we? So let's, uh, guesstimate that that's probably about the middle. Tap once, click three out, around the middle, click three out, around the middle, click three out, around the middle, etc. And you can sort of see, I don't, I don't know, this allows me, when they're not selected, they don't move as a group, when they are selected, they do. So when you select outside the group, you, you make the mistake, and so on and so forth. Like I did just now, I made a mistake. But you can end up with a shape that, if you're careful and you're cautious and you're doing small steps, you could do something really... well, let's put it this way. Okay. I don't even really need the selection at this point, but I could do this. Three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six, seven. And you can see here that I'm slowly creating a curve here. It's not going to be a perfect, pretty curve. Um, the nice thing is, if you have the patience to sit there and play with this, uh, you could, in theory, create a curve. Um, you could rotate these selections not only around the ring, but around the selection, or around themselves, or what have you. Um, you could rotate it around 0, 0, and you could create a nice, perfect, smooth curve this way, if you have the patience. Or, if you don't have the patience, you could sit there and do this thing, like I was doing for a bit, and not be perfect about it. And then go into the stone tool, and hit smooth a couple times. And you can get shapes that clearly do bend, and they look smooth, you know? And if you're not trying to be perfect about it, um, if you're not, you know, if you're making organic shapes, then this is again the tool for you. A uh, nice thing also is that uh, this tool allows you to translate, which is slide. And we can't really see what's going on there. Uh, but let's make this back to medium. And oh, we're having a little bit of lag. Um, this allows us to translate sections out and we can actually move them to the side, or move them back, as the case may be, whatever the situation calls for. So that one, and that one, okay, like that. And we can also, of course, scale. Uh, we can do this kind of thing here, where we then make them all smaller. And you can see here hints of a friend of mine's duck. Uh, in the tool and how we're how I'm using it right now you can sort of see how that kind of thing could happen with this tool here oh looks like we're getting close to the uh, time again uh, mirror Y seems to be an option to turn on or off and that allows you to mirror along the green line the function that you're doing not necessarily mirroring it exactly but mirroring the function that you're doing so if you want to scale these both up they'll scale up at the same step. They're not going to scale up to each other because they weren't that way to begin with. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next chapter, and uh, we'll put this page to bed and move on to the next group. All right, see you then.